It's late, and I know I'm still taking a break, but my friend Crystal is in desperate need, and I'm not one to sit by and not do what I can to help somebody I care so much about. I would really love it if you have any comments at all. Direct them to her, please. She's a believer. She's awake. She's one of us. And we can't leave a sister hanging. We just can't. She's having crippling, mind-numbing depression. And I've been there. And I might know a way to help a bit. She's also having panic attacks. I've had one or two of those myself as well. And they're really not fun. I know they're different for everybody, but when I have a panic attack, it feels like I have so much electricity running through my body. I could zap you into death just by touching your arm. I, I don't know that anybody else feels exactly that. Maybe so, but that's what it feels like to me. So, Crystal, this is for you, honey. When you're having a, when you start to have a panic attack, look around. Are you in imminent danger? Is there a gun at your head, a knife to your throat, anything that would cause you bodily harm at this very second? If there isn't, have a seat, get comfortable. And this is what we do. It also works for relaxation. There's the beauty of it. Get comfortable in your favorite chair. Settle in, get squirmy, and <laughs> make your little nest, whatever you need to do. And feel your feet on the floor. Feel your feet in your shoes or slippers or socks. Feel your shoes on the floor. Feel your feet in your shoes. Wiggle your toes. Move your ankles around a bit. Move up to the lower leg. Feel that lower leg. Be aware of that for a moment. And all the while, don't forget to breathe to a slow count of 10, hopefully, in through the nose, out through the mouth. When you've felt, been aware of your lower legs, move up to your calves. Feel that, feel the calves against the, the uh, chair. Be aware of your calves for just a minute. All the while, still breathing, don't forget to breathe. You can close your eyes if it helps. Move slowly up your entire body, the knees, the thighs, the hips, on up, right up to the top of your head, and then reverse it from the top of your head to your neck, your shoulders, all the way back down to your toes. And imagine by this time, your toes have drains <laughs> I know this seems ridiculous right now, but your toes have drains in them. And when you come back down to your toes, you allow all of that stress, tension, depression, anxiety to drain right out of your toes. Take a deep breath and find something to be grateful for, even if it's only one thing. You know, something simple. Thank you, God, that my lungs work right this minute. Thank you that my legs work. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for creating me. Thank you for bringing me this far. Life's not easy. It, it's not going to ever be easy. But it's all in how we deal with it. And the only way I can deal with it is by facing the demons head on and telling them straight up, I belong to Jesus, and he will deal with you on my behalf. That usually puts them on the run. They can't, they can't take the company I keep. They're scared of me. <laughs> I always want to be that kind of woman. <laughs> I want to put the devil on the run because he's afraid of me. Besides, we already know he's afraid anyway. He's trying to control everything, and control is a function of fear keep that in mind but crystal please give this a try and see if it helps make a gratitude list even if you start with one thing one grows to five to ten 
and it just keeps going because we all, even though we don't really see it sometimes, we have so much to be grateful for, even in this almost impossible Twilight Zone science fiction world we live in at the moment. We still have a lot to be grateful for. We have God's love, and some don't. If that's not a blessing, I don't know what it would take. Crystal, I'm praying for you, honey. And you know I love you like you're my daughter. And I'll do whatever I can. I know we're far away from each other, but I'll do whatever I can to help. I'm always here. I'm an email away. And then a phone call if you if you're up for it, but only if you're up for it. I love you very much. Thank you all. Like I said, please leave your comments to Crystal. I love all of you very much. I hope you have a blessed and peaceful evening.